Solid. In a solid, its particles are tightly packed in a regular arrangement and vibrate about fixed positions due to very strong bonds. The volume and shape of a solid are fixed. Liquid. In a liquid, its particles are randomly arranged and move around each other due to relatively strong bonds. The volume of a liquid is fixed, but its shape depends on the container it occupies. Gas. In a gas, its particles are far apart from each other and move randomly with high speed due to weak attractive forces. The volume and shape of a gas are not fixed. Pressure of gas. Gas particles collide with the walls of the container and rebound, causing a change in momentum. This change in momentum per unit time creates a force on the wall, which results in pressure. Pressure is defined as the force per unit area. Brownian motion. Invisible air particles move randomly and quickly around visible dust particles, colliding with them from all directions. These collisions cause the dust particles to move in short distances along a zigzag path. Absolute zero. Absolute zero is zero Kelvin. At this point, the kinetic energy of particles is zero. Relating pressure of gas and temperature. Pressure is directly proportional to temperature at constant mass and volume. As temperature increases, the gas particles move with higher speeds and collide more often and harder with the walls of container resulting the total force per unit area increases. Relating pressure of gas and volume. Pressure is inversely proportional to volume at constant mass and temperature. When the volume decreases, the gas particles are close together, so collide more often with the walls of container, leading the total force per unit area increases. Thermal expansion of solid. When a solid is heated, its particles gain kinetic energy and vibrate more, causing the space between particles to increase and the volume to also increase. Thermal expansion of liquids. When a liquid is heated, its molecules gain kinetic energy and move faster, causing the space between molecules to increase and the volume to also increase. Specific heat capacity. Specific heat capacity is the energy required per unit mass per unit temperature increase. Melting. At the melting point, a substance requires energy to break into molecular bonds and separate the molecules, constant kinetic energy of molecules and constant temperature, leading the solid turns into liquid. Boiling. At boiling point, a substance requires energy to break into molecular bonds and separate the molecules, constant kinetic energy of molecules and constant temperature, leading the liquid turns into gas. Evaporation. The most energetic molecules at the surface of liquid break the intermolecular bonds and escape from the liquid, leaving behind the lower energetic molecules leading a decreases in temperature and cause the liquid to transition into a gas. Boiling versus evaporation. Boiling occurs at boiling point and throughout the liquid, whereas evaporation can occur at any temperature and happen only at the surface of a liquid. The rate of evaporation. The rate of evaporation can be increased by Increasing temperature. Increasing surface area of a liquid. Wind blowing over the surface of liquid. Decreasing humidity. Condensation. At the boiling point, a gas releases energy and creates intermolecular bonds, constant kinetic energy of molecules and constant temperature, leading the gas turns into liquid.
solidification or freezing. At the melting point, a liquid releases energy and creates intermolecular bonds, constant kinetic energy of molecules and constant temperature, leading the liquid turns into solid. Conduction in term of particles Conduction mainly happens in solids. The particles gain kinetic energy and vibrate more vigorously, causing them to collide with next particles and transfer energy through the solid. Conductor of heat Conductors contain free-moving electrons. Conduction in term of free-moving electrons In a conductor, the free-moving electrons in a solid gain energy and move faster, colliding with the other particles and other free-moving electrons thus transferring energy through the conductor. Insulator of heat Insulators do not contain free-moving electrons. Convection current Convection happens in both liquids and gases. When molecules in gas or liquid gain energy, they move faster and expand, resulting in a decrease in density. This leads to the rising of hot air or liquid and the replacement of cold air or liquid. Radiation Radiation involves the transfer of energy through infrared waves. It can transfer energy through both air and a vacuum. Please support me by subscribing, sharing and like this channel for encouragement me, thanks you.